Hi everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to talk about clustering, which is a bit of a separate idea from the other two, regression and classification. Those were supervised learning algorithms, which again we'll define later, but really it means that we have that output, we have that y value that we're trying to predict. Except for clustering, we really don't, and there's no concept of trying to predict this other variable. The thing that we're trying to predict is really just what group a data point belongs to. So I know that might seem very similar to before. It's like, okay, well, like classification, we're trying to predict what type this thing is. Let me show with a picture what I mean, because it's a kind of tough in words. So say that we had uh, some data points. Okay, so we have their age and height. Okay, so we had people and we have their age and their height. This is say X and this is say Y. But you know what? I'm not going to write it as X and Y. And the reason is because we, have, although we can call variable names whatever we want to, we usually associate this with some sort of predicting, okay, uh, given the X, what is the Y? Except we're not doing that. We're doing, just call this X1, and this is just X2, which means we have data points. And for all of these people, it's just information about these different people. Let me give a different color. So say we have age and height of all these different people okay there's no sort of predicting the height or anything like that in this type of problem what we do have instead is maybe different groups okay so let me write at the top clustering is predicting and yes we're still kind of predicting but it's not some sort of variable it's just predicting what group something belongs to okay what group each data point okay what each data point belongs to and that's a lot different from trying to say okay let's learn the pattern of you know what group these are what group these are what the group these are and then given some other people like before we have okay so some unknown unknown people and we're trying to predict what group those are no 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 we have our data points here and we have sorry it got cut off we have just these people, that's it. And we're trying to group them. So say their groups were something like this. It clearly shows that maybe we have three different groups. We have like a yellow group, a green group, and a, I'll make it a red group. Okay. That's what I just did is exactly what we want our clustering model to do. And that's all it's going to do. Yes, technically, there's some weird stuff where you can use predicting for new data points later, except this is pretty much the task, which is just trying to say for these particular people what group they belong to. Why is that of interest to us? Well, for age and height, that's, you know, you could still say there's different groups where it's like people that are about this age and about this height, except let me give you another example. Straying away from our variables from before, Actually, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let me do instead the weight and height of people. Okay, so if I had weight and height, okay, and then if I have this on a, a plot, maybe, for example, we had two groups of people. Okay, so we have something like this, and we had people over here. So you can interpret this very easily as if we were to group them, I'd say, okay, who's in green, who's in yellow. Well, now that we've done this for every single uh, person, we have which group they belong to. Say that these people, say that this was our group of people belong to, so if they all go to a fitness club, okay? So they are fitness or gym, gym memberships, okay? Fitness, gym, customers, really. They're people that work out a certain gym. So we at the fitness company might want to know what group they belong to because then we could have, say, for each person, we could say, no, 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 uh, we highly recommend that you guys, or you people, you use the green equipment and you guys, no, no, you should use the yellow equipment because now that we know for these specific people what the group they belong to, we could have designed our equipment so that we have say people that have for a small height and a small weight or a big height and a big weight. Okay, so for these groups and for this group, we could have green and yellow equipment 
so that we knew which spot they should go to. There's so many different examples, and including higher dimensions as well, not just weight and height of people, but more variables and more groups, maybe more than just two groups, so that we can design stuff and just know particular things about the information that we have. We group them, and then we say, okay, now that we've grouped them, what do we want to do? Well, that's a later discussion, but this is one such example, uh, maybe telling them what fitness equipment they should use as an example. So this is clustering, just grouping the data points, okay? Not like predicting, um, not learning some pattern so that we can predict on unseen or new data points, just grouping what we have into a particular group. I will see you in the next video.